Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with a pretty large, um, really, really affordable perfume haul. So mostly, I am going to do a separate video from this because this is mostly these fragrances here. These are from a brand called Cuba. Um, I have had my eye on these fragrances or certain ones from the line for years at this point. I've just never pulled the trigger and actually bought any because they're so incredibly inexpensive. I just felt like, I don't know, this, is, and I don't mean to sound, you know, because price really doesn't matter when it comes to, to fragrance. I don't feel like price is a great indication as to whether a fragrance is going to be good or bad. However, there are definitely times when um, a really, really low price can just be an indicator of probably the quality of materials that are going to be used and or lack thereof. Um, and sometimes when fragrances are as inexpensive as these are, um, I do get pretty leery. But with that being said, I have gone through and smelled all of these. Um, I was not surprised to find that most of the Cuba fragrances smell a lot like um, or are kind of clones of other more popular fragrances. And yeah, I've got some other ones in here. I've also got one that I picked up off, off of Mercari um, that I'm just going to throw in this haul as well. And so I'm just going to jump right in. Okay, so let's start with the one that I, the first one, or the one that I picked up off of Mercari. This is a fragrance from the brand called Define Me. You can pick up Define Me from Ulta. Um, I have tried a lot of their fragrances in the past. They also make that aerial fragrance that I had for a while. Um, I finally decluttered it because I was never reaching for it. This is called Kahana. Aquamarine. It is a crystal infused natural perfume mist. And this, um, somebody was selling this on Mercari for $12. And it's way more expensive than that at Ulta. So um, I just went ahead and picked it up. I will say the color of the liquid is a little bit weird. It's kind of this. Um, I don't know, and I think this is a mixture of perfume and oil. I don't know, but the color of the liquid is a little bit weird. It looks kind of like dirty water. Um, yeah, as the brand, I probably would have done more of a clear liquid uh, rather than this kind of dirty yellow looking liquid. But this fragrance is, um, it says Kahana inspires relax relaxation, mindfulness, and a feeling of being transported to a tranquil place. The notes are hibiscus, delicate pink pepper, coconut water, white orchid, santal, and blonde woods. So I, I kind of had an idea of what this was going to smell like um, before it came, and it does smell just like what I thought it was going to smell like. It kind of smells like a like salty, beachy, fresh coconut fragrance, and it's super nice. I have tried this on my skin. Um, it lasted forever. I tried it on one wrist, and it was there for hours. I mean, this thing was a crazy beast. I could not believe how long it lasted. But anyways, I'll give it a full wear test and it'll pop up in a what I wore last week video. So anyways, that is uh, Kahana Aquamarine from Define Me. I got one complete dud in this and I think it's because this bottle of perfume is probably so old. Um, yeah, this was a complete dud. So this is a fragrance called Old Havana. And it's like an old perfume. It came out, I want to say, in the 80s. And I was hoping for a kind of, I could, I don't think that it's listed in the Fragrance Kid database, if I remember correctly. Number one, this thing leaked everywhere. You can see in the box it leaked. And the it leaked all up in the lid. So I'm pretty sure this is like super, super old. I had a really hard time getting the lid off. And it just smells completely off to me. I think it's incredibly old and it is horrible. So this is actually going straight in the trash. It, it's not that big of a deal. It was like $9. So it's definitely not like a huge loss or anything, but yeah, I would not, I would definitely stay away from that one. It is honestly going straight in the trash. Um, okay. 
And then the only other fragrance that I picked up that is not a Cuba perfume is this one here. This is uh, Britney Spears Fantasy Intense. Yeah, mine is a tester bottle, which, you know, yeah, it's definitely a tester bottle. I'm always so happy to get tester bottles now. Um, ever since I became convinced that tester bottles are better. So yeah, I love this. I love the actual bottle. This is probably my favorite color in the world. This kind of dark raspberry pink is my favorite color. Um, this is a 3.3 ounce 100 ml bottle. And this is so pretty. It smells like fantasy, but it really does just smell like a more intense version of fantasy. And I really, really like it. Of course, a more intense version of the newest formulation, not the original formulation. So it is the more fruity formulation. Yeah, and I think this bottle is so pretty. That pink and then it's got the gold. Those are gold little rhinestones on it. So yeah, I tested this just a little bit on one of my hands. Um, longevity wasn't amazing, but we'll see. I'm gonna have to give it a, a good full wear test. I wanna layer this over some kind of like a creamy gourmand lotion to make it smell a little bit more like the original formulation of Fantasy. Um, either way, I really do enjoy this and I think it's very pretty. So that is, and this huge tester bottle was maybe like $17 or something. It was really inexpensive. So anyways, that is Britney Spears Fantasy Intense. Okay, and now we're gonna start getting into the Cuba fragrances. Um, I'm just gonna quickly haul them. So this video is just a haul. I'm gonna do an entirely separate video just talking about the Cuba fragrances, going through, um, talking about what they smell like and um, what they are kind of clones or dupes of because some of them are really good clones of other fragrances out there that and they're way less expensive. Um, but this first one here is called Cuba Chic for Women. And these, this, is this a three ounce? Yeah, these are the 3.3 ounce bottles, which are not, I think the one ounce bottles are so much cuter because they're actually like, they look like little cigars. Um, I read a lot of reviews where a lot of people have bought them just for the novelty of the bottles because they are super cute. These ones are not as cute though. Um, so Cuba Chic, this one, I didn't really like this one. Um, this is the one that has, I'll kind of give you first impressions and then we'll go more in depth with, in a full video for these. Um, actually, this one, I don't know. It's okay. It's not, it's not horrible. It's got patchouli in it, which I can smell immediately. So it smells like a light floral patchouli or a light patchouli and floral. Um, this one I bought because it had cinnamon in it and I was hoping that it would be like a cozier, I don't know, more cinnamon forward fragrance. I can smell the cinnamon. It's more of like a red hot cinnamon though. It's more of like a sweet cinnamon and it's like patchouli and flowers, which is just not my thing. So this one was definitely a fail for me. Um, so yeah, there is that one. Okay, next I got this one here. This is, and these are the ones that are in the one ounce bottles, which are super cute. So this is Cuba Hollywood for women. These bottles, they're super cute. They are like cigars. Again, this one is called Hollywood. This one, it's okay. Again, I didn't love it. It's kind of fruity. Um, it's all right. It wasn't one of my favorites. It smells like something I've smelled before. Okay, this next one is Cuba Miami. And I think that they're supposed to be like this. So this one is called Cuba Miami. And as soon as I sprayed this one, I knew that, well, number one, I loved it. Um, uh, because it smells it's, I want to say it smells just like my um, Moschino I Love Love, but it actually smells more like my Armoff. It smells like a perfume version of my Armoff Tag Her oil. This smells like the perfume version of it. So this is going to layer beautifully over that oil. I just know it. And yeah, it smells just like the Tag Her oil that I've got. 
So I really, really love this one. It's, again, it smells like a Moschino I Love Love uh, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, but less like light blue, more like I Love Love, but most like our moth tag her the oil. So anyways, that is um, Cuba Miami, and I really liked that one. These are basically like discovery kits for Cuba, except they're four one ounce bottles of perfume, which is crazy. I've got three of these. So I've got 12 different one ounce bottles of perfume. They're all in the cute cigar packaging, which I think is super cute. Um, I'm sure other there, there will be people out there that think that they're hideous, which I totally understand too. Um, but anyways, I only, out of all 12 of these, there's only one overlap. So I've got two bottles of one of the same scents. So really I've got 11 different ones. But anyways, I'm gonna start with this one. This is the Cuba Latino for Women set. And uh, this one comes with Cuba Cactus, which I actually liked that one. It comes with Cuba Maya. Here, I'll show you guys the labels if I can get it to focus. Cuba Maya, which I want to say, I can't remember, and I'm not going to try to give too much detail because again, I'm going to do a whole video on these. Um, Cuba Carnival, this is like, as the name suggests, this one is pretty um, sweet. I think this one has got caramel in it, if I remember correctly. So that one is Cuba Carnival. Most of these are smell alikes of other fragrances. And then this one here, Cuba Copa Cabana. So that is, that's the first set. Okay, the second set. This one is Cuba Jungle for women. I will say, um, I think this one had the least amount of fragrances in it that I enjoyed. This one has, um, this one has Cuba Heartbreaker. This is the one, this is the one that I've got two bottles of this and these are glass like when I was looking at them online I thought that these were going to be plastic and these are actually glass so that one is called Cuba Heartbreaker next we've got this one here this is Cuba Jungle Zebra and I will say some of these are clones for really obscure fragrances which is crazy so that is Jungle Zebra. And then next we have got Cuba Jungle Tiger. <laughs> These are so, like, I don't even know. I don't know where the names come from, that's for sure. And then we have got Cuba Jungle Snake. There's that. There is a clone for J'adore, uh, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, which was Miami. Um, there's a clone for Burberry, I think it's called Tender, Burberry Tender, which I had a bottle of that years and years ago, back in the probably mid, early to mid 2000s, I had a bottle of that. And as soon as I smelled it, I was like, oh my gosh, it smells just like Burberry Tender. Um, it's the one that's got the little teddy bear on the front. Okay, and then last but not least, I've got this one here. This is the Cuba for Women Quad One. And it's got, again, four more perfumes in it. So this is, uh, this is the, the double of the Heartbreaker. And then we've got this one, Cuba La Vida. Cuba La Vida, which is hilarious. It's called Cuba La Vida, but it's got, <laughs> it's got Benjamin Franklin on it, which is so weird, so random. Okay, and then I've got this one here. This is Cuba Victory. I just can't believe it. there are so, so many of these Cuba perfumes. I mean, they're crazy. So I'm glad to have been able to get so many of them so I can do, you know, like a really good overview of how they are. Now I'm not going to have any time to do any major testing. 
I'm going to just kind of assume that they're not going to be super long lasting fragrances. I have read a lot of reviews of people saying that they last a really long time on them. Um, but again, I think it's just going to come down to body chemistry. Some people get amazing longevity out of perfumes that, you know, others like me just don't get and then vice versa. Sometimes I get amazing longevity out of fragrances that other people don't find they get longevity out of. So I think it's just, again, it just all comes down to your skin chemistry. Um, really. Okay. And then last but not least, we have got this one here. This is Cuba VIP wo woman. And again, with Benjamin Franklin on it, it's so weird. It's so weird and random. Like why? I don't even know. So that is VIP woman. So anyways, guys, that is my entire haul. I got a ton of perfume. They're just, they're all these weird Cuba fragrances, um, which I, I am definitely surprised by some of them. So yeah, that is my most recent haul. I, I've really been trying not to buy perfume because I'm trying to declutter as much as I can so that I have less to pack. Um, but I got to looking at those Cuba perfumes and then they were so inexpensive I couldn't not buy them. And so here we are. This video will go up first. Um, I will probably immediately post the Cuba video right after this one, just so that those of you that are interested in those Cuba perfumes don't have to wait very long to for me to go through them and talk about them and tell you what they smell like and, and give you all the kind of lowdown on them. But anyways, I do hope that you all enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.